New year, new me. You know how that goes. Happy 2017. Over the Christmas holidays, actually on December 31st, I hit a goal that I was striving for all year, and that was to hit 2,500 subscribers. I made it the day of December 31st. I was so excited. In fact, I did a little Facebook Live. It was quite funny. We did it! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's my happy dance. <laughs> you guys helped me get to 2,500 subscribers on my YouTube channel. That was my biggest goal of 2016 and here it is the last day of the year and you helped me get there. Thank you so much. Like I could almost cry. <laughs> we are going to talk about social media today and in fact we're going to talk about Facebook. Some people say to me, oh nobody uses Facebook anymore. Well, not true. It's still the number one social network on the internet today. So a lot of people, myself included, question how to get better engagement. So today we're going to talk about some key elements for engagement on Facebook. Now, I didn't make this list up myself. I got this from the one and only Mari Smith, who is, in my opinion, and in everybody else's opinion, <laughs> the Facebook queen. She and the people from BuzzSumo came out with this amazing list, The Ultimate Guide to Facebook Engagement. So here we go. The facts that I'm going to share with you now are based on an analysis that was done of over 800 million, that's a lot, Facebook posts they analyzed them and found what worked the best. And based on that analysis is what they came up with for these recommendations. So number one, be brief. They found that the posts that were under 50 characters had the most engagement. Share posts that have long links attached to them, as in share a really informative, instructional, inspiring, educational blog post as opposed to, let's say, just some little one paragraph, something or other. They found that the, the blog posts or the articles that had one to 3,000 characters were clicked on a lot more than those shorter articles. Something to keep in mind. Post during times that are considered off-peak. Now, peak times are around 6 a.m., around 9 a.m., noon, and again, around dinner time, sometimes 9 p.m. So basically the, the main times when people are either on their coffee break, on their lunch break, on their dinner break, that kind of a thing, that's when people are scrolling through their phones. It was found that if you post outside of those times, that the engagement is higher. So that is something you may want to experiment with as well. If you have a business page, you can easily see when those peak times are in your insights. Some further top tips for content creation for 2017 on Facebook video. <laughs> you probably didn't need to hear me say that because you probably already know that because you're really smart, but video is the way to go. Doing live broadcasts, of course, is really, really awesome, but also creating a video and uploading it directly to Facebook. Very, very smart. Also, highly shareable photo content. Make it bright. Make it something that attracts their attention. Use great, wild, crazy, interesting fonts. Those types of things are what attracts attention to your content. You may want to test giveaways. Now, you don't necessarily have to spend money doing this. You can give away perhaps a service that you provide. Perhaps you have samples of products that you sell. Those are the types of things that you can test. This is a suggestion for your Facebook business page. You're not necessarily going to want to have a giveaway on your personal profile. In fact, I probably recommend against it. Post a minimum of five times per week. Now I know for some of you that sounds like a lot, but if you're serious about marketing using Facebook, you're going to need to up the ante a little bit. I know I personally post on my business page at least once per day. Sometimes it's up to three times per day. That creates awareness for your brand because of the consistency. As you can probably tell by now, consistency is ridiculously important. 
And of those five posts per week, make a lot of them video, Facebook Live, and creating videos such as this and uploading them. And the last tip that I'm going to share with you today that is based on the research that Mari Smith and BuzzSumo did is of the posts that you're going to be doing, make the majority of them educational and entertaining. There are a lot of people on Facebook and they're still searching for answers that, who knows, maybe you have the answer. Educate your fans, educate your audience, talk about why your product does this or how your service improves their life in that way. It's really, really important to not just sell all the time, but give them something, give them something of value. There's a lot more to this article that I've been basing this video on. I'm going to link that up in the description below so that you can read it for yourself. It's really interesting. You'll find a lot more answers there. Speaking of answers, I get a lot of questions every single day from people in the 50 plus crowd on how to use social media. I'm happy to announce that on Wednesday, January the 11th at 4 p.m. Pacific time, I'm going to be hosting a webinar all about my new program called Gen X Social. If you are interested in learning more about Gen X Social, please click on the link that I'm going to provide for you. You can register for the webinar. It's going to be highly informational and because I'm hosting it, highly entertaining. <laughs> because if you know me at all, you know I keep it pretty real. <laughs> So once again, happy new year. Welcome to 17. My favorite number has been 17 for as long as I can remember. Since the moment that the calendar switched over to this year, I don't know why, but I can't even call it 2017, although I probably did at the beginning of this video, but I personally am calling it 17. Welcome to 17. This is going to be an epic year for so, so many. I can just feel it. The buzz is high. The vibes are great. There's so much opportunity to be had and social media is the vehicle that can probably get you to just about anywhere you want to go. So if you need help with learning how to do that, come and join me on my webinar. It would be great to see you there. Thank you again so, so very much for spending a little bit of time with me today. Of course, you know it means the world to me. If I haven't already told you, I'm telling you again because I love you. It amazes me that after all these years, I still have an audience on YouTube and I'm so grateful. I'm so excited for this year and where we are headed with content and I really hope to pick up my game on this platform as well. So stay tuned for some really fun things. That's what I had for you today, my wonderful friends of the internet. Until my next video, I want to wish for you a wonderful day. Bye for now.